encouragement to the church. Amen. All right. So um, I think it was last year when uh, our pastor preached from the entire book of Genesis. And this afternoon we're going to re-examine, not the entire book, but chapter 12 of Genesis. All right. So please open your Bible with me to Genesis chapter 12. And then let me read verses 1, 2, and 3. And at this point, please all rise up to show reverence to the reading of God's word. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, and to a land that I will shew thee. And I will make, thee, I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Let us pray. Dear Father, thank you so much for this time that we have to hear the preaching of your word. Dear Father, if there's any one of us here tonight who is not yet saved, we pray that you give him or her a repentant heart, that he or she comes to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Dear Father, let your children hear your message tonight loud and clear for encouragement, for conviction, or even for you. This is our prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you. Right. So the first um, three verses that I read earlier, this is the time when, Abraham, when God spoke to Abraham. And I think um, this, is not, this still exists today, that God still speaks to us. But most of the time, or sometimes, we are unsure if it is really God's voice that we're hearing. Or most of the time, we are we refuse to hear God. Just like um, when, when God first spoke to Abraham. So please open your Bible to Acts chapter 7. And then let me read verses 2 and 3. Now let me go to 3 and 4. I'm sorry, sorry. Let me, let me watch this. Uh, Acts chapter 7. Right. Alright, it's Acts chapter 7, verses 2 and 3. And he said, Men, brethren, and fathers, hearken. The God of glory appeared unto our father Abraham when he was in Mesopotamia, before he dwelt in Charon, and said unto him, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and come into the land which I shall show thee. So I strongly believe that the place Charon in his text is the same place as Haran, as described in Genesis, in the book of Genesis. So go to Genesis chapter 11, and let me read verse 31. Again, it's Genesis 11, verse 31. And Terah took Abram his son, and Lot, the son of Haran, of Haran his son's son, and Sarai, his daughter-in-law, his son Abraham's wife. And they went forth from them, from Ur of the Chaldees, to go into the land of Canaan. And they came into Haran, and dwelt there. Therefore, the timeline here is that Abraham lived in Ur of the Chaldees with his family. And it was in there when God first spoke to him, as described in Acts chapter 7, verses 2 and 3. And obviously at that time, Abraham did not obey God. And then his father Terah brought him, brought him, brought them with him to Charan. And again, we need to take note. It was not Abraham who willingly go to Charan as God instructed him. It was his father Terah who brought them with him to Haran. Alright? And then in Haran, this is where chapter 12, verses 1, 2, and 3 happened. For the second time, um, God spoke to Abraham. And obviously this time, God, Abraham, I mean, Abraham obeyed God. So chapter 4 continues. So